In this video, we're going to change the subject. This time, we're going to have to do more than one line of working. So the first one, 7 minus x equals z. It's actually easier if I add x to both sides here. Okay, So I'm going to be left with 7 on the left-hand side and z plus x on the right-hand side. Now I've got x plus z, so I need to get rid of that uh, plus z to get x on its own. So the minus z from both sides. So on the left-hand side, I'm going to get 7 minus z. And on the right-hand side, z minus z cancels out, so I'm left with x. Just rewriting this, I get 7 minus z. So x equals 7 minus z. So the second question, we've got w equals d over x. So I'm going to use two steps to work out what x equals. So first, I'm going to multiply both sides by x to get the x off the bottom here. So the left-hand side becomes x times w, well that's x, w. And d times x over x, well the x is cancelled, so I'm just left with d. So we've got x, w equals d, so, or x times w equals d. So to remove that w, I have to do the opposite, of multiplying, which is divide. So I am left with x on the left-hand side, as the w is cancelled, is equal to d over w. Let's look at the next one, y equals 3x minus 5. Now what I suggest is you get the 3x on its own first before dividing by the 3. So I'm going to add the 5 to both sides. So first step would give me y plus 5 is equal to 3x. And now I divide by the 3. And flipping this around, I'm going to get x is equal to y plus 5 over 3. So the last one here, x plus p over 3 equals 2. So the first thing I would do is uh, times everything by 3. So we remove the fraction first. So let's do that. Let's times everything by 3, putting that in a bracket, and times everything by 3. So the 3s on the left-hand side, they cancel. There's one on top, one on bottom. So I'm just left with x plus p is equal to 2 times 3, which is 6. And now I've got the x out of the, uh, x out of the fraction. And it's been added to by p. So to move the p, I do the opposite, which is take away p. So I'm left with x is equal to 6 minus p. And that's my answer.